Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my Dark Souls Remastered walkthrough. I hope everybody's doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to go back to the Undead Asylum. Before we do, I want to talk about... A few things I did. I went and grinded out 50 humanity from the rats. So I farmed those up. I also farmed up some large titanite shards. 43 to be precise. Okay. And I also have around 250,000 souls. You don't have to have that much. But if you're trying to stay at the same level as me. And the same pace as me. Uh, I would go ahead and grind it out. I know that it's going to take a long time. I personally don't mind grinding and farming. I kind of enjoy it, so it doesn't really bother me. Okay, now that that's all been said, let's go ahead and start going towards the Undead Parish. We want to go and level up our weapons before we head to the Undead Asylum. Hop down here. Stay against this wall. Dogs aren't going to bother you. Alright. Take care of these hollows. Heal up there for a second. I almost went up those stairs for a second. Oopsie poopsies. So instead of going to Firelink through the aqueducts, we're going to take a right and go through the Undead Burg to get to the Undead Parish. So right here, I'm going to veer off. Kind of just make your way through here. And then right here where the bonfire is, we're going to climb the ladder where Hellkite is. Instead of going up top and getting Hellkite's attention, we're going to go through the bottom here. Ooh. Can't really see with the uh, stuff shaking. Shouldn't have missed those parries so many times, but so many times, but. Uh, with the camera shaking, it did make it a little difficult. Oh, these rats. Fuck these guys. 
They're the worst. Ah, we'll pick up the humanity. Why not? Now we have 51. Not gonna bother pillaging their corpses. Just gonna run through. Stay close to the right wall here. Kind of just hug it. That way you don't get the attention of that Balder Knight. Oh my goodness, my parries are off today, aren't they? There go. And kill this chump. Should be alright. Head down here to Andre. We're going to give him the large ember. I could smith some mighty weapons with one of those. Why not lend it to me? Magnificent! You won't be disappointed. I can hardly wait to get started. Alright, so real quick, we're going to purchase 30... 3? Yeah, 33 Titanite Shards. Just trying to think there for a second. Normally you need 34, but because I already have one Titanite shard in my inventory, that'll add up to 34. So if you don't have any Titanite shards, go ahead and buy 34 of them. You're going to need them to upgrade everything. Let's go ahead and upgrade our longbow. That'll come in handy a little later. We're going to modify our equipment here. This will allow us to get everything to plus 10. So we want our claymore to be plus 10. Our longbow to be plus 10. And our grass crest shield to be plus 10. And then we're going to go ahead and, re not repair, reinforce our armor. You only want this to go up to plus six. If you go any further, you're going to use a Titanite chunk. And we need those Titanite chunks to upgrade our Claymore later on into the walkthrough. So only go up to plus six. There we go. Go and get yourself killed. Neither of us want to see you go hollow. I'm going to heal up. Not that we really need to because we're going to be going straight to Firelink from here.
going to be rolling off here in just a second. Right here. You want to line yourself up with this beam that's jetting out from this tower. You want to roll onto it. Gonna roll back over here. We're gonna get the Undead Asylum Floor 2 West Key. We're gonna need that when we go back to the Undead Asylum. Oh, hello there. I'm pleased to see you safe. As always, if you provide the materials, I can teach you pyromancy. We're going to upgrade our pyromancy flame to plus 10. This is going to come in handy once we get down to lower blight town. I'm only going to level it up to plus 10, by the way. I'm not going to level it up any further. But if anybody else wants to, have at it. Goodbye then. Come back if you find anything new. Let's go talk to Crestfallen. Have you been to the ruins of New Londo below? Just head down the stairs and take the lift. It's certainly worth a visit. It was once an undead city. You may find a clue or two, unless the ghosts find you first. <laughs> How did that old man make it back? Unexpected. But I suppose stranger things have happened. Oh, have you seen that terribly morose lass? The fire keeper. She's stuck keeping that bonfire lit. Sad, really. She's mute and bound to this forsaken place. They probably cut her tongue out back in her village, so that she'd never say any god's name in vain. How do these martyrs keep chugging along? I'd peter out in an instant. <laughs> Hmm? What now? I'm not up for chatting. Leave me alone. We're gonna go talk to Lawtrek. So he's not here. An easy way to get him to come back is exit out of the game and then uh, load back in. So let's do that now. Alright, here's Lawtrek. Let's go ahead and talk to him real quick. Oh, hello. I'm considering a change of location. I have a rather pressing matter to attend to up above. That keeper has served me well, but enough with her. <laughs> yeah, he is not a good dude. I don't know if anybody can tell. But his motives are not good. Let's go ahead and talk to Petrus. Uh, oh, you again? Me? Uh, I've become separated from my lady. I've scoured near and far, but no sight of her. Where could she have gone? My lady, to think I swore to protect you with my life. Sure you did, bud. Go back up the elevator, and then we're gonna hop off again right here. This time we're actually gonna go to the Undead Asylum. Roll off. Follow the stairs up. Sorry if this makes everybody dizzy. Curl up in a ball. It's going to take a minute before the crow will pick us up and take us to the undead asylum. So just be patient.
So a lot has changed at the Undead Asylum. Now we have some torch hollows over here. Nah, of course. Bastards. Almost killed me. Right here is Snuggly. What I'll do for everybody because it's just very time consuming to continuously drop items and then exit out of the game and load back in. I'm going to put into the description of the video all the items you can drop into Snuggly's nest and receive um, items back. So if you want to do that, go ahead and do that now or as soon as we're going to leave the undead asylum whatever you want to do um yeah just drop the item in the nest and then exit the game load back in and you'll have a different item in the nest than what you dropped right here be careful do not run straight ahead the floor is going to break and that will send you into a boss fight and we do not want to do that just yet Real quick, we're going to use a humanity. We're going to kindle this bonfire. That way we can have 10 Estus when we're fighting this boss. This boss isn't really that hard. As much as it's just a gauntlet. And when I mean a gauntlet, it's just got a ton of HP. So, whenever the floor breaks, we're going to take some fall damage. So, be prepared to heal when you fall and then get out of the way of the stray demon. So, you want to heal. I'm going to two hand, get a couple hits in, back away. He's got some magic attacks. If you stay behind him, you can get him to spam that attack right there and stab him in the butt. Not a hard boss, just like I said, he's got a ton of HP. Let him slam his butt down. Get a hit. Let him do his thing. This is the stray demon we seen at the very beginning of the game. Yeah, when he swings his axe like that, just back away. It's going to be an AoE. He's mostly, he mostly has AOE attacks, by the way. And there you go. That's the stray demon. 
Very exhilarating fight, huh? So we get a Humanity, a Homeward Bone, and most importantly, a Titanite Slab. When I first came in here, I did not know the way out of here. I ran around here for a good minute until I was like, oh wait, there's a ladder. Matter of fact, I was running around for so long, I was going to use a Homeward Bone to get out of here my first playthrough of this game. So we're going to fight two Black Knights in here. So hopefully everybody is learning their parries. Because you're going to need it. At least it's the ones with the sword. So they don't do as much damage as like the ones with the halberd or the uh, great sword. Get ourselves a chunk, a red chunk, and we get the Peculiar Doll. That is going to be important a little later into the walkthrough. It's going to let us go to an alternate area. Pretty cool area at that. We'll go ahead and drink an Estus. Why not? And then we're back at the bonfire. We're n we don't need to rest at it. We didn't use that many Estuses. Matter of fact, I don't even think we got hit during the boss fight. Like I said, it's not a hard boss fight. It's just a gauntlet. Here's our last Black Knight that we have to beat. Get ourselves the Black Knight Sword and a Red Tight Knight Chunk. Right there we can see a familiar face. We should go talk to him, see what he's got to say. Oh, he's got nothing to say to us. Oh, motherfucker, quit kicking me. Ripperonis, man. Thank you for the Estus flask, so. We get the crest shield from him. We're going to go up there. Just be careful. The ball is back. So run up, hop off, let it roll down. So only a few things have changed in the Undead Asylum since we've been here. Not going to bother picking anything up off of him. All stuff we already have. Or at least for me. So right here is the reason we came back here. Well, the main reason uh, is the Rusted Iron Ring. And that's going to allow us to walk normally whenever we're in deep water or tar or in mud and we'll be wearing that in a little bit take out these torch hollows oh my goodness they're awful 
awfully annoying. That's what they are. Go ahead and heal one more time. Not that it makes a difference. We're just heading right back to Firelink. I'll see everybody there in just a second. All right, let's go ahead and head back to the bonfire. That NPC that you hear snoring we're going to meet them right after we ring the second bell of awakening. But before we end the video, I want to level up a few times. So let's pop a few souls real quick. And that should be plenty. go up to 24 24 24 and 24 so we'll have 24 across the board we'll save a few extra souls that way we can buy some dung pies and some purple moss clumps all right everyone I want to start by telling everybody thank you for stopping by I really really appreciate it it means the world to me if you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to, su to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. Mr. John Wayne, signing off.